There's another outbreak of COVID-19 inside the White House tonight. Five members of Mike Pence's inner circle tested positive for the virus, including his chief of staff, Mark Short, who is considered the vice president's closest aide. But the VP is staying on the campaign trail, hoping to recapture the energy of the 2016 election that handed Donald Trump the presidency. Pence has tested negative, but as Jennifer Johnson reports, critics believe it's only a matter of time. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence is still on the campaign trail after Chief of Staff Mark Short and at least four other aides tested positive for COVID-19. According to Centers for Disease Control Guidelines, Pence should quarantine for 14 days after being in close contact with Short. But the White House Medical Unit has cleared Pence, classifying him as an essential worker. How is campaigning essential work? Well, there are the free elections are the foundation of our democracy, so I think campaigning and voting are, are about the most essential thing we can be doing. The Trump administration says Pence, the head of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, has tested negative for COVID-19, but more than 166,000 Americans have tested positive in just the past two days. We're not going to control the pandemic. We are going to control the fact that we get uh, vaccines, therapeutics, and other mitigation Why aren't we going to get control of the beca pandemic? Be because it is a contagious virus. But the Biden-Harris Democratic presidential team disagrees. They are pushing for mandatory masks and blaming U.S. President Donald Trump for not getting the pandemic under control. This is the greatest failure of any presidential administration in the history of America. But President Trump is painting an optimistic picture for his supporters, despite the deaths of over 225,000 Americans. We're rounding the turn. We have the vaccines. We have everything. We're rounding the turn. Even without the vaccines, we're rounding the turn. It's going to be over. But with hospitalization setting records in over a dozen states, medical experts say the country is at a dangerous tipping point. These cases are going to continue to build. There's really no backstop here. I don't see forceful policy intervention happening anytime soon. Dr. Gottlieb insists Americans take precautions immediately to slow the spread as people are forced to gather indoors in the fall and winter months. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.